Alright, hello everyone and welcome to a final exam solo walkthrough slash playthrough. I will be playing through this game using a controller. And yeah, so basically this is sort of a side-scrolling game, 2D side-scroller, where each character has different abilities and stuff. The guy I'm playing specializes in grenades. There are people who are specializing in melee and weapons and all that stuff. You know, usual. So I'm going to get into this. See, this is the character. He has three in life, one in strength, one in precision, and three in explosive. So yeah, explosive is what he specializes in. Weapons look good, and let's go. So I've played through this game a little bit, just to feel out the controls and stuff, and it seems like a pretty fun game, but I'll shut up we for you. Them back, but there were too many of them. The subway, why not? Given the chaos on the street. Oh man. We were safe, but for how long? The world may never know. Alright, so new objective stuck. The blue arrow in the left hand corner of the screen is pointing to the objective so you get a basis of where you're going, so you're not completely lost. Oh my gosh, it's giving me like a tutorial. Alright, the hitter. He ain't pretty, he's awful. He's going to suffer. Alright, so just gonna take this guy out real fast. Not too difficult. Alright. I think I have to uh, go down here. Just head down here. Keep walking, keep walking. Alright, new objective. Open the door by disabling the alarm. And so I have to take these guys out. The fighting style is just like Castle Crashers. It's just the button masher, really. You can jump, hit people, juggle enemies, you know, all that stuff. So let's see. Gotta enable both of the alarms here. I run like I have some sort of problem. Alright, keep going, keep going. Is this it? No, keep going. Here it is. Right, spam B, spam B, spam B. Now I have to get the other alarm. It's a lot easier doing this with other people because you can do separate tasks at the same time. And it's just generally faster. This guy thinks he's being funny trying to sneak up on me. But not gonna happen. Alright. So let's continue here. Going to disable the other alarm. I'm looking to keep each episode around 10-ish minutes. Oh, I gotta go up here. Because if I try and make them any longer than that, it takes 10 years to upload. And I gotta go up the stair. Alright. The fries, if you can see under my player health bar... Uh, that, that's what heals you. So. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I was like, two seconds, and this guy just has to interrupt me. He just has to do this. Alright. Alright, buddy. Want spam B? Alright, there we go. Objective accomplished. 3,542 points. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so new objective, find another way out. So I will just follow the arrow. And I assume we just keep going this way, probably go down here. Up, take a left. So I'm not sure how long this playthrough is going to be, but hopefully it's pretty long. New objective, destroy the horde. Now I've never actually done this without a person. So this might be a tad difficult. Oh, on. He's on fire. He's on fire, just like me. Yeah. All right. He's gonna go through, take out this horde. Very similar to Castle Crashers. Just spam buttons all day, 24/7, non-stop. Easy mode. Jump over their heads. Doing like jumps, crawling all over the place. One day they'll die. Oh, get juggled. New objective. Alright. Defective shutter. So I'll spam B here. Got 1,100 points for that. Reach the docks. Oh! Didn't even notice him for a second. I was just tunnel visioning on the exit because I know the subway's coming up here. Alright. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm pretty sure it's just around the corner. And there will be another cutscene, I believe. Oh yeah. 
3,875 points. Surprised it wasn't 3,866. But that's besides the point here. Reactivate the train. Alright. So I will follow the arrow. Find the generator. I'm guessing it's pointing to the generator. Let's come down here. This game... Oh, the jumper. Jumps to move, jumps to attack, and he's very unpredictable. You could say he's a bit jumpy. <laughs> no? Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, by the way, these you can pick up and you can throw them at enemies. So let's see Let's see if I can find someone to throw it at. Doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to toss it over there. And it'll explode. Alright. Just going to run over here. I'm guessing the generator's here. Whoa! Actually, I probably should have picked it up and thrown it at this, this guy. I think he's called a jumper. Oh, I see how he is. Oh, don't charge at me. Alright. So go down this ladder here. Just keep going, keep going. Uh, generator looks like it's to the left, I assume. Up. Oh, another pack. That, that's fine. Oh, 10 out of 10. Reaction time. Oh, I, did, I enabled it. It blew up. I don't have any grenades, which puts me at a slight disadvantage here, but I should be able to take this out fine. I mean, it is just the first stage of the game, just getting a handle on the controls. As you can see, those guys sort of charge up and spin, so you want to jump to avoid them. I'm not sure how many are normally in a horde, I'm guessing it's going to increase the longer I'm playing the game, but I think it's an average of around 15 to 30. Oh, and that guy got me. Just got two jumpers and I don't forget what the other guy's called. It's not important. Oh, fries. Press B to grab that. And I'm just gonna take out. Oh, he goes the wrong way. It's completely duped. And there we go. That was only 11. Get the achievement, Horde Hunter. And I will slide down this ladder here. Alright. Jump this because I don't want to be set on fire. Jump this, and head down here. Alright, put gas in the generator. So it shows me where the gas is, one's down here. So I'll head this way, guessing no enemies. Alright, pick up the left, left trigger. Start walking it over. Yeah, so you can... Oh, 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 oh. Alright, that, that's, that's just not cool. Jumper, jump please. Please. Let me get up the ladder. Come on. Come on, be a civil guy. You can get this game on Steam for, I think, $5. I got it on sale for about $2.45, I believe, which is a good deal, so I picked it up. Pretty fun game. I would recommend it. All right, put that there. 2,000 points. And got to get the other one. Looks like... Oh! All right. Oh, I guess it doesn't trigger when you jump on it. It's good to know. All right, got to go up here. I think jump up the ladder. Oh! Oh, he's following me over. Found the other gas. I think I will end this oh, this episode after I put the second piece of gas in the uh, generator, and we will continue next episode. Let's see if I can... I actually don't know if I just finished off that guy. Yeah, I should probably set that down. There we go. Oh my gosh. Kidding me right now? Alright, left trigger. Jump. I, th I guess I go down. Go to the right. And I don't trip over these. Good to know. Oh my gosh. I gotta set that down. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh. Jumping all over their heads. I have one grenade, so that's better. I'm better prepared than I was last time. Um, let's see. Just jump right here. Start hitting them. I think I'm gonna save the grenade if I see a jumper. I don't know. I feel like those guys are harder. Throw it over there. Get rid of the jumper really fast. Also set him on fire. I'll just let him burn. Burn. There we go. Oh, there's more. Oh, drop that. Oh, they just hit each other. Oh, look at that. MLG. Going pro. Final exam. It's like I just took my final exam. Gotta cancel his. Alright, just gotta keep hacking and slashing here. Oh, got another grenade. I'm gonna actually eat my fries here because I'm getting kind of low on health. I'm gonna keep on... Oh, get jumped. Oh, that was not good. 
cancel his little charge attack. Alright. Gaz spelled with a Z. Didn't notice that, but we'll roll with it. Alright. I I assume, yeah, it's down here. And this is where we will leave off this episode. So thank you for watching, subscribe, and hope to see you next time.